So guys, in this video, we are finally revealing the mystery machine that I got from Shakira Lover Forever and Matty17 in the in swap for my Cassata and my 9530, just for a little bit. So, thank you very much for watching, and season's greetings from Florence Ballard A3060, the channel for vintage washing machines, appliance reviews, demonstrations and tutorials, 1960s and 80s music, and Hoover A3060 Electronic 1100, also suffering from quite a serious flu at the moment, so <clears throat> excuse my voice in the intro. Right guys, who's ready to do some washing? We got, the, we can do our first load, we got the plug going, I got some water supply, it's not the best, but because um, something's wrong, there you go, but it works. Right, I'm also going to be revealing the mystery machine that I got from um, Shakira Lover Forever Matty17. Who's ready to see what it is and comment in the, in the comments, were you expecting me to have a machine like this? There it is guys. So, hang on, you have to excuse this, we're using a lamp. It's a Hot Point Aquarius Super Silent WD640G. It's a wa she's a washer dryer. My first, you're gonna have to put up with this lamp. Um, it's a touch lamp. It's the only form of light I've got in here. Yeah, she's a super silent washer dryer. I'll tell you what, we can use my flashlight on my phone for a better thing. So, a nice hot evening in Australia. Here she is. Uh, the front's been painted a sort of bronze color, but it's not by them. Uh, Aquarius Blue 16, Joe Buddy, this one is especially for you because she's a super silent. Uh, the A3060, I've got some update on that now. Now guys, there's been a lot you've missed on the machines. Mila's there. I'm going to give her a test. She's got squirt on all that water, so that's why the floor's wet. <laughs> Spin dry, it's got lots of dirty washing. We're going to do a towel wash today. I've done it on 95. Uh, and basically here, I'm going to do a drying cycle. So this is my first time using a washer dryer here. British Heart Foundation, I tested the satin aluminium version, which was the WD645A. Uh, but yeah, we have a look inside. Her door can be a bit troublesome sometimes. Look at that, the WMA drum with the indents at the back. Washer Guy 2002, I know you like that. But listen guys, if I put that there. Hang on, I don't want the phone going in. Ready? Silent. I'm excited about this. There's a serial number if you guys want to date that one for me. WD640G. It's a super silent version of the WD440. Um, and I'm going to be taking, uh, they've got the hot point. So you're probably got wondering now, where's the Cassata and the Knife Eye for If you haven't seen the other videos, please go check them out. But if you haven't, I'll explain. Uh, they fell in love with those two machines. So I've allowed them to keep them there rather than being kept here. The other reason as well, if there's ever a bushfire in Australia, over in the Perth Hills, it can be a bit more dangerous than where they are. They're in the suburbs, so yeah, we're gonna um, be swapping another machine next week. I am gonna be getting a Scrap Hoover Electra 550 to replace the outer tub in this machine. The A3060's motor is actually working because all it was, guys, there was nothing wrong with her motor. It was just the carbon brush wire contacting the armature. I've taped it up with some electrical tape and take that out of the way, so we're going to see. Now, you guys are probably thinking, some, obviously you know with me I name my washing machine, so what name have I given this machine? This machine isn't mine, unless I said I wanted to take her, but I'm probably going to leave that for another machine or so. The name I've given to this machine, for the time being, she's called Sylvie. Reason, she's silver. And S for super silent. And sexy. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop waffling on now. I've got a nice plastic garden chair. Have you ever seen Uben Frame videos on that? They have a curse of the plastic garden chair. Now, I don't know how good it's going to be with that camera. You, I'm, I'm really sorry for the poor lighting, guys. I I didn't want to have anything too bright in here. Just get that. I'll set up this tripod, which is now buggered. This tripod's given up on me because there's two... But, um... We will be seeing Matt and Elliot again this weekend, guys, so hold on to your horses over that. <laughs> For more madness. And I know our slot can get a little bit crude, you don't have to... Yeah, I'm really happy with this machine. Uh, I've 
not tested her yet. Well, I think I did test it. But anyway, let's get loading. All you hot point lovers, this one is for you. Uh, if anyone knows of me, I have a thing for washer dryers. So this is why I wanted this machine to test. I don't want to put too many towels in, so really this time I am going to check that I am not putting too much in. Because obviously we won't get a good drying cycle otherwise. Uh, we can probably put a little bit more than that. I need, uh, my face cloths need, my flannels need to go in. Where's the other one? I know I've got another one in there. I'll stick the famous fuchsia pink towel in. Um, but aside from that, the little microfiber, I think we may be good. I'll have to... Now, I'll see the machine's not permanently plumbed in, so... I've heard that, guys, there's a plane going over. Yep, looks like we've got both washcloths in there. Uh, I'll take these out, and I'm gonna... Okay, so, we haven't got a permanent drainage, but an actual good idea that I was given here uh, is that I use... Let's close that. I have to give the door a bit of a, bit of a slam. Uh, I'm not abusing this machine, the door lock's a little bit fiddly, sometimes I have to, you know like the WMA range, you sometimes have to, so that should hopefully be alright. I've got an extension there, I've got a nice little cosy lamp, so I can close the door if needed, but we don't have the noise of the generator. I'm using these bottles to fill up with the drain, but we don't have to worry about that just yet, because it'll be a while before the machine heats up. So, let's have a look at the um, panel. Well, no, first of all, let's put in the detergent. So guys, using some Australian detergent. We're using this Supreme Sensitive. Yes, I also did. I not only went for it because it was cheap, I also went because of the name. Supreme. We also have on top of the A3060 Supreme Citrus and this Softened Ocean Fresh, but we're going to be using Huggy Classic Blue. Uh, the personal you saw there is a 1960s box. At this point, Hot Point were. Hot Point have moved to Aerial. Uh, this is when, yeah, Hot Point were Purcell all the way through the WMAs and the WM range, 9.5 series, etc. But at this point, they had gone to Aerial. That smells amazing, so I'm going to just get that in that drawer. If you notice something about the drawer, there you go. WMA drawer. That's just essentially WMA with, yeah. So I'm going to be good and just use one scoop. It's exciting. Oh. Oh, well, they'll be naughty use one and a half scoops. So the setup's not very good and, like, not permanent, because the machines aren't designed to be here permanently. Ah, oh, reminds me. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. It reminds me of my WMA64. That's got, like, a drink, a drink smell to it. And the program we're going to be using, by the way, guys, let's move this out of the way. Oh, to excuse that. Hey, that reminds me of which washers videos when I do that. <laughs> We're going to be using program B, 95 degrees Celsius white cotton. Ooh, that's my favourite. So, ready for this? Oh, look at those lights. Hang on, if I start cancel. Look at that, guys. That's what happens when you first start up. So, what was that? Program B. Actually, no, let's do 60 degrees super wash. The towels aren't that dirty. Two, oh, two hours twenty. Okay, We've got to do time saver on that. I'm not allowed to do time saver on that. Okay, let's do program D then. Sixty degrees Celsius, color fast cotton. Time saver. Hour and forty two. That's a bit better. We have the dryer. Uh, uh, drying high heat. We want a. Let's do a one hour drying. Uh, Made you rinse hold. I oh, can't do rinse hold on that. You can do time delay, but obviously it's not going to happen. Right, who is ready for my first wash in this place? We'll do a, my famous view. Let's start. Wash. Door's not locked. There you go. Oh. Oh, perfect. They're not leaking. No. Just a bit of water from the old hose that I had there. So there's going to be no sound from this machine really, but that's fine. Hose is on the door, I must remember. Let's see, I'm going to hook that. Oh, I'm so happy. So the machines are only filling with cold water here. But that's right, because we'll see uh, the full 
thing. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't know when the heating elements kick in, but I think these machines don't mess around with their heating. Let's get a bit closer down. Oh, there we are, that dodgy leg I've got on this. I need to put a pin through that. Virtually, virtually no sound at all. So that's the WMA Drummond there, and yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's all I could say. Hot Point. Uh, in case you were, were wondering, uh, Hot Point actually weren't licensed to sell uh, their brand name over here. So these were branded Ariston out here. And GEC for the WMA, no, WM range, those are the WMAs were. Looks like we're heating already because I can see some condensation. So what's that on program D colour file Scott and six yeah? So many programs. And then you've got like rinse and spin, fast spin and slow spin, I like all that. So this is the washer dryer. Yeah that, uh, that's a good good size load I've done in there. Essentially, I could close the door and have the machine drain in here, to be honest, and just keep it on top of the A3060. Yeah, that's heating, you can tell. That's just a uh, screaming sound of the water going in, by the way, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. So it's saying 2 hours 38, that's because the drying timer is on for an hour. Alright guys, we're doing fast tumbles now, while heating, watch this. I brought the lamp down, but it's almost distribution. It's like the power stream. And my voice might sound quite echoey in here. I just realised I put one of those pouring bottles on. I'm sorry about the hissing sound in the background guys, it's the uh, water hose. I'm glad. Oh wow, that is actually yeah, not a bad load that I've done in there. I know that any sunstock so guys, but I'm not really fussed about that. I'm just happy about seeing the machine operate. What's that? Yeah, I can tell that machine has been resprayed. We've heated to 60 guys, didn't actually take long at all, so we're doing shorter, well we were doing, yeah we're doing shorter tumbles now, actually really relaxing in here, I, I feel the heat of the machine in a way and it's kind of making it nice and warm in here. So the motor this machine uses is inaudible during the washing stage, but during the spin you will hear the machine after, after she goes above 300 RPM. It's like a more. So um, I don't know. I have got. I have actually got another WD six four zero motor that I rescued from my wonderful friend, or I call him my brother, Aquarius Blue sixteen. Joe. He was a uh, Hot Point guy sixteen hundred before, but I like his new name, Aquarius. Definitely my favourite range of Hot Point machines. I think over the Ultimas, I prefer that. But, um, nah, he's, uh, I, I hope you see this show, I hope you watch the spot, because I don't want to talk during the spins really, I'm going to try and keep quiet. Um, he's a real special guy to me, he's um, quite... He's, you know, he's he's been through a lot, and 
he's been you know through similar things that I have um, that d depression and whatnot yeah we, we both know what that's like I don't want to go into detail about stuff because it's not my business to say anything and you know we, we both name our washing machines and our stuff I mean I thought I was the only one who did that because his WT960G so same color as this one is called Matthew um, I'm not going to say why it's not but he's got Matthew who's the other one I think was there Emma I think I can't remember who it was uh, I think it was one of the only girls he had but yeah I know he's got a Hotpoint WM23 that's called George it's basically an almond spin slider of the one that Chris had no I don't know anyone has a WM23 that's the Aquarius Ultima uh, 1000 Deluxe with a spin slider um no, you know what, I've completely forgotten. I know it's Lewis, I think it's one of his newest machines. Uh, Adam, the LG, and I can't remember who the other one was. Mark, I think, I can't remember. <laughs> you have to forgive me, Joe. But he's like a brother to me. Um, and we are we are going to meet up at some point. But, obviously, I rescued that WD640 motor for him. Because the one on his WT960, um doesn't sound as loud as that WD645 I tested. Oh, everyone's from Batman. But yeah, he's a, he's a very special guy and I'm always there, for, you know. He runs a group on Facebook called something like the Washing Machine Laundry Bar, I think it is. It might just be the Laundry Bar, I can't remember. It's something like Laundry Bar. But we often talk about having a, la a laundromat full of like hot point machines. Because he's like got a hot point through the years, and it was someone that I actually wanted to, to do at one point. Um, he just needs to get a 9.5 now, and I think a 1.8 series. Oh, and a, I think a WM range. He, he had an Aquarius 900, WM61 in natural linen. But uh, yeah, the, these machines, that, like this one, these are his special ones. That's partially why I took this machine as well, because I wanted to be able to film one of these for him. Uh, I don't know if these machines do a shot of rinse. I can't remember. Oh, guys, first intermediate spin. Machine says wash, uh, says rinse and spin now. Well, I hope it does the intermediate spin. How much water have we got in there? Oh, I got plenty. There we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, by the way, this machine's very sensitive on balancing. So, the super silent ones are. Let's hear this. Are you ready, Joe? If I get nice. And here we go. Right, first attempt. Let's see how many times. And second. Right, that's kind of okay. No, Sylvie says no. Maybe. What's that fourth attempt? Yes, no. <laughs> this is so comical. Okay, that is definitely not going to spin that. Oh, I love this, I do. Oh, that's a no-go. I don't know how stable the machines are in there. They, they are level, but the concrete seems slanted. Okay, that's... Okay, come on, you can spin that. Christ. Okay, that's perfectly balanced. Come on. I let the annotations do the talking. Are you 
kidding me? What? What? That's not even on balance. Quite a pump though. Yeah, they are right, this is a very sensitive machine. I've lost count guys. to watch that. I find it entertaining. <laughs> well, how much time until she gives up? Okay, I agree on that. So. Oh, come on. Spin that selfie. Takes ages to balance, spins on balance. That's, that's why I love these machines. Should be 300, 600 next, so get ready for the awesome sound. No, don't start again. Goodness me, I've never known a washing machine to be so I've never known a wash, uh, machine to be so sensitive about balancing. I suppose it doesn't beat Samsung though. Hey guys, how many balancing terms in total have we done? Like the whole spin cycle. I want you guys to tally up how many balancing attempts we get throughout the whole cycle and to add it in the comments. Oh, come on, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, goodness me. Bloody hell. I'll watch her rebalance that again. See, that should only be a very short distribute between the spins, though. So I know by the long distribute she's going to rebalance. Oh, God. No, I still love the machine.
sounds like RPM. That sounds awesome. Very stable though, I'm telling you that, that was on balance, but the machine's quite stable. Here you go guys, distribution rinsing. Still filling. Okay, this will be a high level now. Ew, God, there's all hair in there. Don't be disgusted at the colour of the water, I think that's going to be dirty. Yeah. God, that's a fast fella. At least those towels are getting a real good rinse in there. Ah, that's quite a good level actually. But yeah, the machine will distribute. See, almost distributed there. <clears throat> at least they'll be nice and fluffy when they come out. Push off to 1400 RPM spin. Oh, that is amazing, that is. So I've got the cars in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a new, new bottle down. It just flooded all over the place there. Let's see, do we do distribution? Yes, we do. And oh my god, we're on balance as hell. Oh my goodness me. Normally, sometimes a machine tries to spin. Yeah, there's no way that's spinning. Okay, so we've got one full bottle here of hot water. Might be every couple of rinse aside. Uses a lot. So that's 15 litres already. What are we doing? Are we faffing? Come on, spin that. Okay, hey, first attempt. Oh! We may spin that. What? <laughs> oh, it makes it a lot worse again. I've got one more. Eh? I've got machine does not do any more rinse and all those are the drying cycle mate a lot of water we have to run and get another container in the rinse thing though when the machine takes time to balance it just Obviously the machine loses time, it's not like a meal of uh, like keep adding time. Okay, I think we should be alright. No. We would have been alright there. There's so many cars today. I'm sure the machine's going to spin on balance. Oh Thank God I did a small load of towels so they'll be able to distribute better. Oh God, that's surely got to be alright. Yeah, 
even a Mika would spin. <laughs> no, even a Samsung would spin. No, I think this has got to be the most sensitive machine I've known. I don't mind it though. It's fun. Slightest movement. Probably might do about. I think it's either 800 or 1,000. I think the machine does. It might or might up to 1,200. Another WD 440 did 1,200 on the intermediate. And then again, as I say, washer dryers have different programming to the washing machine. Yeah, that's going to rebalance. I can tell. That's going to rebalance. No, hang on. Oh, no. There we go. But just like that, I don't get the balancing system. This is like an industry thing, or... I think it's a Maloney thing, because the Maloney services do it. Similar. Not insert, the Ariston, I think it's an Ariston thing. Because Ariston would have started it. I don't know, I, I don't know what machine started it. Okay, okay, that's a no-go for sure. I don't think we'll get any unbalanced, like, proper unbalanced under this machine. Here. Oh, come on. Surely. Yeah, I think that's going to stop again. I think she'll stop. Because then it should probably be like 300. 300, 500, 600. Maybe 300, 600, 1,000, 1,000. Come on, you're alright to spin that. Oh, don't be a, don't be a pain, so it will be. This, this, this just makes me laugh. I'm going to film it. Oh, come on. Oh, we actually get a smooth spin. Oh, hang on, that's not me out of focus. That's six on the side. That's five on Go
That's about eight hundred, I'd say. About a thousand. One thousand, I'd say. That's lush. It'd be even better, guys, when we get to four, fourteen hundred spin. Medium level fi final rinse. This will tumble. It's all that lovely conditioner. And then we shall do the final spin. I do not know where all these cars are coming from, I can tell you. I've never seen so many cars. There must be a big event going on somewhere. Machines also added about five minutes on. Technically, that's only got 16 minutes left plus an hour of drying. Obviously, for drying, I've got to, I have to leave the water running. But that, <clears throat> that lot after such a fast spin, and uh, and obviously not being a very big load, should not take long to dry. It's just drying and high heat. I think an hour though will be because it's like a 15 minute cool tumble. What if I can, can I, I've got the time. Oh, I, I can still, okay. Let me do, let me do an hour and a half. It sounds like water at the back. Spin guys, distri rinse. Very unbalanced. Let me get that on the film. I love that. Yeah, final spin. My favourite stage of the cycle. doing now? Oh. <laughs> Hope we shouldn't faff around too much. We've well, got 13 minutes left. Okay, that should, that should be fine. No, what does Silvery say? Silvery says no. Okay. I would actually fall off my chair laughing if the machine spun that. 
least the tiles didn't go pink. I see the dryer fan come on. Oh my goodness me. If that spun like that, that would jump. That would literally would jump. <laughs> That's all going to go to one side. Oh. Uh, that seems okay, but I don't think the machine will. It's just actually like this is like something I would have as modern standard because it's from like 2006 or so. Jeez. Like these to me are the very last hot point because this is the last British made hot one. These were the last British made ones. So this is to me like the, the furthest I would ever go for hot point, and after I would go any further, any later than this hot point. Mean, yeah. I wouldn't go any newer than this for hot point. Because this is like, it is hot point, but partially indecent programming. Because this balancing technique was not the back. I thought I was going to spin there. This balancing uh, technique is not a hot point, this is indecent or Maloney. I think this was introduced 2005, I think. D640. Trust me, these machines don't, these ones don't give up easily. WD440 would have spun that long now. Come on, should do that. There you go. I think we'll pack this machine up on, I think Sunday I'm going, Sunday, yeah Sunday, um, and I'll bring home another machine of theirs. I think I have in mind what machine I'd go for actually, I think I know which one. We, uh, we're, we're going to be filming a WMA 37 bad bearing, so be prepared. I'll film the Cassata while I'm there actually. Oh, come on, don't be a diva. Yeah, she's going to kick up a fuss. Here we go. Uh, also, with washer dryers, they stop and tumble a lot more than the washing machines would uh, because it's obviously to stop everything sticking to the side and drying. So if we'll let you know the machine will do that. This is gonna be the longest final spin I've ever filmed I think. I just don't get this balancing technique though. I mean I love it because it's it's funny. Because sometimes it can result in some very like unbalanced loads but it's just I don't get it. Oh, okay. Oh no, she would never spin that. So that's what I mean, it results in that. I'll make those. Thank you, Matt and Elliot, though, for giving me this machine for a while. It's... I don't think I would trade it for the Cassata though. I mean, the 95300, I could not ever let that machine go. She's my first automatic. My first collection of A3060, no, no. Not even for a million pounds would I ever uh, turn that machine in. Who's that? Oh, someone's going up. Oh, come on, let me spin that.
I've got to admit though, the spin pattern isn't as tedious as the new hot points constant when they do their constant 300s. That's just like two, two 300 bursts and then that's it, she goes for it. It's just the balancing that's the problem. <laughs> I think it's only the super silent models will do it because obviously they have to be super silent. Uh, by the way, this machine is a six kilogram model, but is you can wash and dry a five kilogram load. That's more like four kilogram, okay. Listen out. I think it's going to go straight to 14 on them. That's 1,000 off here. Slow down now. Check on the water, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to have to do this. It's almost halfway full, but that'll be like pretty much all the water out now until, until we get to 1400. See, the machine will probably stop and tumble on that. Oh no, distribute again. Now, let's see what the machine does. No, are you serious? Oh, this is going to be really sensitive now for the 1400 part. Waiting for it to get to 1400. Might not spend long at 1400 because I've enabled time saver. Final ramp, final ramp up to fourteen hundred. Incredible motor. Oh, Six hundred.
1,000 RPM. That's pretty stable. I think it's a 12 in reverse, slows back down and does the 14 in reverse. distributes again. Yeah, distributing still, so that must have been 1200. <coughs> You're not seriously going to stop and rebalance. You're going to get nowhere of that because none of that's going to fall. Oh, this is going to go on forever now. Wow, that was an incredible scene. That was just... No faffing about, up to speed. Yeah, guys, this is going to take a while. That machine's going to need to be distributed. Right? <coughs> Don't end up a boring spin. Oh, hang on. I think something's trying to tumble. Yes. There was no need to rebalance that, honestly. But yeah, guys, that must have been 1200, actually. I forgot these machines do two bursts. I forgot the one. I'm trying to remember what the WD645A did. It did two bursts. Oh, come on. That's got to be all right to spin. Yes. Here we go, guys. All the way up. And let me just stop and get a photo of it first. Because I need to know what machine I've got. It's the same spin pattern like a WMA, 600,000. Shut up now. That's cutting into its drawing time. Oh no, that's time on.
1400. cycle so water goes into the condenser and the water drains out so I'll keep it on these bottles now oh, right. might hear the fan come on You might see the lights dim a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's the dryer fan on. That'll get hot. They've removed the perspex off this, by the way. In case you hadn't noticed. At least the machine actually tumbles while drying, but there we go. First drying cycle. I'm not going to film the full drying cycle. We'll come back. Um, so obviously, you know the elements got to, uh, elements obviously kicking in and everything. But yeah, I don't know. I don't expect that to be fully dry, but we'll see. Uh, I might just throw the hose outside on the floor for the drying cycle. I'll start packing stuff up. Yeah. There you go guys, we're drawing. I've never actually, really sat, I never actually had a washer dryer of my own. They'd be nice and fluffy them towels. Okay yeah, guys, so the machine does a, a spin cycle during the spin during the drying cycle. A thermo spin or something. Don't know why. But I didn't care about balancing though. Huh? 
four four seven. Six hundred. Very weird. I'm going to go behind Delta. spinning in, in hot air. Here's the end results guys. The machine obviously didn't cool down so there's a lot of steam coming out of that I think. Yes bloody hell. Oh, it smells good though. Go over that door. So they're very hot and steamy but they are actually quite dry, in a way. Oh, do you see that come off? I'm not gonna dare to try and... I wouldn't dare touch that drum. I'll leave the door open. So, they're actually quite fluffy, to be honest. So I'll hang them up on the line. Right, guys, so... Probably still got steam there. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed my first actual washing machine video of this house. Well, washer dryer. I'll leave that dry open a bit. Let it all air out. Uh, I don't know if there'll be any more of this machine at the moment, but I may do one of the Miele on Saturday, but if not, we'll do another one wash and dry on this. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and there's definitely more to come, guys. And don't forget to keep it supreme, and go with the flow. <laughs>